and gentlemen, I am delighted to be with you here tonight. These Republic Day celebrations are a wonderful reminder of the many things our two nations share. Not only a proud parliamentary tradition as the oldest and largest democracies in the world, respectively, but also a global outlook and a belief in the rules-based international system. Most of all, we share a unique network of personal connections, what Prime Minister Modi describes as a living bridge, the personal, professional, cultural and institutional ties that bind us. One and a half million strong, the Indian community here in the UK is our largest diaspora community. And it continues not only, sorry, and it contributes not only to our national success, but also to our national culture. There are 15 Indian origin MPs in the House of Commons, three in the cabinet, making it the most desi cabinet in history. <laughs> of that contribution last year when communities came together to celebrate the two birthdays of great Indians who continue to inspire the world. Sri Guru Nanak Devji and of course Mahatma Gandhi. Speaking very briefly in my capacity as party chairman, the work of Conservative Friends of Israel of India has been invaluable in strengthening links between my party and the Indian community here in the UK and also in India. And to have its chair, Lord Rami Ranger, join the Lords last year was a moment of pride and a fitting testament to the closeness of the relationship between our two nations. But close and historic links are not a cause for complacency, nor indeed is harking back to the past. Our 21st century relationship with India is all about the future, which is why deepening and strengthening connections between us is a key objective of our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. The United Kingdom's society, culture and economy derives great strength our diversity and it always will. There is now a renewed sense of ambition on both sides of our relationship. For our part, we are determined to focus on building a flourishing modern partnership with India that benefits all our citizens. Boris Johnson is an internationalist and believes passionately in ensuring that the UK is open to the opportunities that life outside our membership of the EU presents. It is already a relationship characterised by close collaboration and mutual respect, and dedicated to enhancing the prosperity and security of all our people. And we want to take that to the next level. So, tonight, I want to highlight some of the areas in which we are already working together closely and where we see real scope to do more. We are working on the global issues, uh, sorry, working on issues of global concern, particularly climate change. Claire O'Neill, COP26 president, led a UK delegation to Rizana, to the Rizana dialogue in India this week. This was the UK's first engagement of its COP presidency. Together, our ambition is to lead the global shift to a low carbon economy and expand access to sustainable energy. Uh, uh, energy. The UK is a member of the India led International Solar Alliance, hoping to mobilise more than $1 trillion of investment in solar energy by 2030. We have also joined Prime Minister Modi's coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure. And we stand ready to support his impressive renewable energy ambitions 
and look forward to working closely with India as we prepare for COP26 in Glasgow later this year. Another area that I want to mention is technology. The UK and India are global leaders in the field and two of the world's most innovative countries. That was the genesis of our ambitious technology partnership, a realisation that we could pool our skills and ingenuity to drive forward the fourth industrial revolution. Our tech partnership is already thriving, harnessing our collective expertise to boost trade and investment, create sustainable growth and jobs, and address the greatest challenges facing us all today. And I know that together we can achieve great things. Trade and investment, of course, is another key area for our countries. Happily, it is already flourishing and bringing jobs and prosperity in both directions. India currently invests more in the UK than the rest of the EU combined. And 850 Indian companies employ over 100,000 people here in the UK. Good of all the people in our two great nations and the wider world. 